Listen, Silage, I've wasted too much time on this already. Either stay or you're fired. You haven't heard the end of this. You can't just be pushing people around it and expect to get away with it. Ooh, got a message. How are you doing, my darling stepbrother? Enjoying my father's money, no doubt. Our time together was so short. Our next meeting should no doubt, how you say, um, end with a bang. Until then, John Robert, sleep well. John Robert, you low-life penny pitching son of a Russian spy, I've just been told that you're opening a wholesale feed store across the street from me. You're gonna run me out of business, you no good chicken plucker, why somebody ought to take you down a peg, and I'm just the old man that can do it, Olson. I ought to do that Clem Johnson a favor and take Cousin John for a little ride. You are despicable. How do you sleep at night? In a big old king-size bed, thank you very much. And you know what? If I can't sleep, I count $100 bills. You are one smug, self-righteous, son of a Russian spy. And mark my words. Mark my words, John. Your day is coming. Am I supposed to be scared? Hello? Hello, Cousin John. Uh, can I help you? Don't you recognize my voice? Hey, listen, lady, I haven't got time for 20 questions. But, John, I'm your biggest fan. I've left you so many messages. <laughs> you don't scare me. Why, John? Whatever do you mean? Think of me as your guardian angel watching over you. Put that knife down and let's chat a while. How did you know I was holding a knife? It's like I said, John Robert. I'm watching over you. Life is unpredictable. You just never know what might happen. Oh, dear. I have to go. The pizza man's here. Don't worry, I'll be in touch. Here's your pink slip, honey. See you well my oh, way out. Slip. You can't do this. You won't get away with this, John Robert Olson. This is occupational blackmail. How's that uh, frozen food hot dish on a stick venture going for you? Why? Well, it just so happens that uh, I'm going to be entering into the frozen food business myself. You are. I am. I just signed a contract with uh, your friend Betty Thompson. Mm. And we're going to produce Betty's Best Chicken Favorites. You didn't. Oh, I did. I should call up some of my friends from the CIA and just have them come over here and take you behind the woodshed 